David Nicholson Reserve. Wildly available around like the St. Louis and Missouri area. So this is made by Lux Row. Lux Row. See that? David Nicholson was actually a, a grocer, a grocery store man. Is that what I'm looking for? He came up with a weeded bourbon recipe uh, that Lux Row claims they still use today. Long and storied history. This is actually, Reserve is actually just a traditional bourbon, not a weeded bourbon. Um, more along my line. I, I like weeded bourbons. They're fine. Really smooth and sweet most of the time. I just like traditional bourbon most of the time. That or high rye bourbons. This is a traditional. So, and it's sourced. So I really don't know where it's coming from. It doesn't really say. This was only $28, I believe. So, really good price on that. So I do like a couple other Lux Row bourbons. Ezra Brooks like the, the the single barrel selects and the rebel yell distiller selects I've had some really good ones um I even have uh ezra brooks uh bourbon cream and i don't mind it right every once in a while a uh, nice golden color there uh at a hundred proof um and no age statement can't really expect too much out of the color. It's not deep, it's not dark, it's just regular. Let's go in for the nose. A lot of rye space in there. Uh, bright, like fresh cut apple. With cinnamon sprinkled on it. A little bit of butterscotch underneath there. That's really it. Touch of vanilla there too. Not bad. Not bad. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Right away you kind of notice how um, it's thin, but the flavors are pretty good. In the beginning, it's just chocolate. Then that turns into a cinnamon spice with a lot of oak. And and then some rye spice mixed with baking spice. Not very balanced. You get the sweetness on the front of the palate and then it turns spicy and then all of that combined, uh, it might be just too much oak and then it turns into this kind of a bitter note at the end. It's not bad, not bad. $28. I'm not really sweating purchasing this. I actually like this a lot better than some of the some of the other $28 bottles that I have. I do like how rich it is in, in the beginning. I do like the little uptick of spice, but what I don't like is how that oakiness turns into a, a bitter note at the end. It's the only thing I don't like about this. I mean, otherwise it's fine. I'm not going to tell someone to go out and buy this. If you're in Missouri and you can find it, definitely give it a shot. I think that the weeded bourbon is fine. I'm not, I'm not going to buy that one again. Uh, this one I probably would actually buy every once in a while. It's not bad, and since it's always here and it's pretty cheap, might as well, you know. If you've had David Nicholson Reserve or 1843, let me know what you thought about it in the comments. And if you like these reviews, please give the channel a subscribe, hit the like button, hit that bell so you get notified every time I load a new video up. Stay tuned, keep enjoying those pours, and have a good one.